is is uh, who he says he is, at least who I understand him to be. And if he would backtrack on any of those things or be a sexual predator, like they say he is, or found out to be just some kind of a jackass and the opposite clowns the United States in in on the world stage, I would t- I would rescind my vote on vote number two for his uh, for his uh, five to eight year term. So I want to give him the chance. There's just no other option. We have to save our country and our own skin and our own people and really get back to being Americans that are uh, feeding, helping, supporting one another and get back to some kind of a fabric that we recognize and protect as extremely as an extremely valuable resource amongst ourselves as people who take ideals and live them every day to bring good forth to our own people and to uh, our country as a whole. All right, so here's the thing. We've got to go take a break, but I want to ask this one question because Marjorie bringing a good point. Um, please address how the Britain feels about Trump. Uh, are you asked? Is, is that a question or did mm-hmm. you make a statement? I'm sorry. That what is was the question? Qu- I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, how do you think the Britain feels about Trump? Who cares? I don't care. What? What are the? Uh, is is Britain a part of my everyday life? Do I have to consider what they say about my president and my country? They don't even know me. I, they, uh, not only that, I don't interact with them. I don't have business with them. What their opinion is of me? It's be like, what do you do? You think that they worry about what my opinion is of them? No, they have their own society. They will get to know him, and they will get to know him as a fair person if he's not punked or played or played for stupid. I think that this guy knows how to negotiate things and looks at deals, any kind of deals, and will go, hey, man, I can put this together. I, I can, I, And I'll take it apart if it was put together stupidly because our country, usually the protector of the world, foots every war's bill. Where everyone else goes, I had money, I can't give it to you right now, but... Thanks for the support, and it continues, which has to end. I don't know about you, but I subscribe to the idea that if you ride the bus, you got to pay the bus driver. So that's what I think, too, and I think that it's only fair. It's how I govern my life personally. I pay my bills. I don't know about you, but you don't keep the lights on without paying them. For some reason, these other people that aren't paying the bills shouldn't be getting the protected service that they do. I think fair is fair, and all human beings across the globe probably ascribe to that same notion that fair is fair, right? So I don't know what kind of deals that they struck with these other com- countries that made it reasonable for them to use our resources, to take from us, to smack talk us, and at the same time, jip us when it comes time for the bill. Uh, at that point, we have to look at that deal and go, well, okay, you don't want to pay the bill, then services stop. And if it comes to the point where it's tortious, where it's, uh, uh, they are trying to put the, the, the screws back to us, I would imagine there are a number of other ways that we could get them to perform the way they expect us to perform without pay. So, yeah, he's, uh, he, he's darn, he, he's, um, I, I think just he's the right guy. The, all the things that he's talking are things that I recognize. So let me see what what, what else is Marjorie saying here. That, I don't I know, missing? but I, I gotta take a break, so we'll be right back, guys. Hang on. Okay, cool. Magical Things offers fantasy art for festival and everyday living, featuring the fine arts and craft creations of Marjorie Delaney on practical printed products such as journals, mugs, costuming, wearable art, formal wear, and accessories. We also carry a line of magical supplies, including candles, oils, herbs, and limited ritual items. All items are created in a scenic studio space in Culpeper, Virginia, and available throughout the world online, as well as at festivals and events. Magical Things offers custom creations, too, such as costuming, illustrations, and more. Come visit us at MagicalFantasy.com. Well, that was some boring music. Spike! Come on, where's the Justin Bieber? Where's the Katy Perry? Where's the Fallout Boy? Noddle, you have witch powers. Turn him into a chipmunk and feed him to the owl outside. I will do no such thing. We're here to talk about our website. 
HomeCanineNeutering.com. What? No! InvaderPet.com, where people can check out our comic strips or locate bookstores selling bookmarks with our comics on them. So, listeners, want to see comics of me, Noddle the Witch, my pets Kaylee Cat and Spike Beagle? Go to InvaderPet.com and check us out. Seriously, though, you guys really have a canine neutering website? Hey, everyone. Want to know how you can help Let's Talk About the Music stay on the air and earn some VIP privileges at the same time? Go to Patreon.com slash LTATM Radio to find out how you can get involved. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com. Let's talk about the music. Alrighty. If you guys listen to Spotlight, our first and only show of it, Julian from Erotic City asked to come back on the show on Let's Talk About the Music, the humorous controversial talk show, Global Mix of Music. And, uh... Well, we're going to get him back on here November 9th, and we are going to talk about his independent musician side instead of just his tribute band to Prince. It's all gets started right here, November November 9th, starting 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. More details go to letstalkaboutthemusic.com. Hi. This is Mirko Filacchioni from Rome, Italy, and you're listening to Let's Talk About Music.
we're back once more. One man rock band. Let's talk about mm. the music. And for the last, oh, what has it been? Like an hour? Ooh. Hour or so, we've been uh, discussing the political scene. We've been talking about Mr. Trump. We've had some comments about Mrs. Clinton. And we've just had a lot of discussion. Good, bad. Some people are angry. Some people are not. So, hey, it's a good show. Well, good well, show. Yeah. now I have decided I know who I'm going to vote for. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Gary Johnson. I don't want either one of those knuckleheads in the office. You, you, you know, uh, you know, uh, one of... <laughs> One of the funniest things I ever saw about that guy, you know Bernie's slogan, right? Yeah. His was feel the his was feel the burn, right? Mm. You know what you know what Johnson's slogan is? No. Feel feel the Johnson. You know what's funny is I could actually see that considering because he he what people don't know about Gary Johnson is he kind of talks like Trump sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's it's funny. It's like he uh, he had that one famous interview that hit YouTube like pretty quick after where. Somebody was asking him, how do you feel about Trump? And he's like, oh, Trump's a pussy. And it's just like, okay, here's another mm-hmm. presidential candidate saying this stuff. And it's almost you got to look at it one of two ways. you got to think, well, are they – should they not say the stuff at all? Or is it time to kind of reevaluate who we should have as – like what kind of language they should use? I mean me as a president, I would probably say bad things like that and get in trouble a lot. I, I, mm-hmm. I can't lie about that. I would probably slip the tongue, and I probably wouldn't apologize for it either, which means I probably wouldn't get a second term. But hey, you know, that's <laughs> that'd be me. That's who I would be. Really direct, kind of just like, uh, and this is how it is. President Spider. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I think that's a uh, fine talk. I watched him on a, uh, I watched that guy on the town hall and uh, uh, tried to, you know, step out of my Trump self, and I, I watched him uh, along with his vice president running mate. Uh, I think his last name is it Wells or I Weld. can't remember what it is. Well, that's what it is. Um, I watched him and I was impressed with him. And I thought if Donald Trump Trump drops out, that that's a fair that's a fair enough guy because he has the policy of a Republican, but he also supports the sort of like the arts and arts and uh, uh, the artistic side or the um, more liberal side of lifestyle and living in California. That's kind of how I feel. It's kind of like, um, you know, fiscal responsibility along with, Hey, you, if you're, you know, be who you want to be in life. And really kind of, that's what I thought was cool about him. I thought he got a, a raw deal when the reporter asked him, what is Aleppo? And he said, ah, huh? and he says, what is Aleppo? I don't know what that is, and he says it's a town in Syria that's getting mauled by the Syrian dictator, and he goes, oh, well, and then he, <laughs> that was the end of his run for the presidency, effectively. Yeah, you do have to know a little bit more about, you know, world politics than the big names of some of the big capital cities, and Aleppo, honestly, is a is a big kind of capital city over in that region, <laughs> so it's kind of like, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> You know what? I, honestly, when they asked the question, I thought, what is Aleppo? I mean, I didn't even know that either. I don't think that, I don't even think that name had even popped up, not one time, at least it didn't catch my my uh, my brain at all, <laughs> until he was drilled on that question. And then, of course, after that, I knew all about Aleppo. If anyone asked me, I was really on top of things then. <laughs> Well, that's the other thing, too. I mean, I, I don't think a lot of the independents, I think, might be a little bit better informed if they were given a reason to be better informed. Like, they don't – most of them know they're not going to get their fair shake because we're, we're just locked into this two-party system. And there's a lot to be said about diversifying, but then at the same time, you kind of open yourself up to a lot of problems, too. Like, you, you look overseas right now, and places like uh, like the U.K., They've got all these different political parties. 